Hello friends, welcome to Clubcraft area. If you are new to this channel, subscribe my channel by clicking the subscribe and bell button to get more videos. In this video, we are going to see how to crochet this cute little baby carriage keychain. For this project, we are using two colors of yarn, crochet hoop, cutter, needle, stitch marker and keyring. Buttons. For this project, I am using 2.5 mm crochet hook. To do this cute little baby carriage keychain, we want to know the basic stitches like chain, single crochet, half double crochet, slip stitch. To do this mini baby carriage, first we will do the base and then we will do the body part and then the top part. Then we will add the buttons on, on both the sides. So now let's see how to do this cute little baby carriage. Start with slip knot. Do 6 chain. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. This is what we say it as chain. We have to do 6 chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So after doing 6 chain, it looks like this. Next, you are going to do single crochet in the second chain. 1, 2. Insert the hook in the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. We will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through both the loops. This is what we say it is single crochet. Place a stitch marker in this single crochet. Next, do single crochet in each stitch till you reach the last stitch. This last stitch you are going to do two more single crochet. So one, two. Next you are going to work in the other side. So you are going to do single crochet in each stitch till you reach the last stitch. So in this last stitch you are going to do two more single crochet. 1, 2 and finish this round by doing a slip stitch in this first single crochet. So after completing the first round, it looks like this. Next to chain 1, do 2 single crochet in the same stitch. 1, 2. So place the stitch marker in this first single crochet. Next do single crochet in each stitch for 3 stitches. 1, 2, 3. So now we are in this 3 single crochet which we done in the same stitch. So we will be doing 2 single crochet in each stitch for 3 times. 1, 2, 3. So next do single crochet in each stitch for 4 stitches. 2, 3, 4. So next stitch do 2 single crochet, 1, 2. Next stitch 2 single crochet, 1, 2. Remove the stitch marker and finish this round by using a slip stitch. So after completing this round, it looks like this. For next round, do chain 1, do a single crochet in the same stitch. Place the stitch marker in that single crochet. Next stitch, 2 single crochet. 1, 2. Next, do single crochet in each stitch for 3 stitches. 2, 3. Next stitch, 1 single crochet. Next stitch, 2 single crochet. 1, 2. Next stitch, 1 single crochet, next stitch, 2 single crochet, 1, 2, next stitch, 1 single crochet, next stitch, 2 single crochet, 1, 2, next do single crochet in each stitch for 4 stitches, 1, 2, 3, Next stitch, 1 single crochet. Next stitch, 2 single crochet. 1, 2. Next stitch, 1 single crochet. Next stitch, 2 single crochet. 1, 2. Next 
two next remove the stitch marker so for next round you are going to work in back loop so we'll finish this round using a single crochet in the back loop so if you see a chain there are two loops this will be the front loop and this is the back loop so we'll be finishing this round using a slip stitch in this back loop now we have completed the base for this baby carriage for next round chain one do a single crochet in the back loops place a stitch marker in that single crochet Next it's single crochet in the back loops, single crochet in the back loops, single crochet in the back loops. So likewise you are going to do single crochet around till you reach the stitch marker. After doing single crochet in each stitch only in the back loops it looks like this. Next remove the stitch marker and finish this round by doing a slip stitch by taking both the loops together. Do a slip stitch. So for next round do chain one do a single crochet the same stitch by taking both the loops together place the stitch marker in that single crochet next it's single crochet taking both the loops together next it's single crochet taking both the loops together next it's single crochet likewise you are going to do single crochet in each stitch around till you reach the stitch marker after doing single crochet in each stitch it looks like this we are not going to finish this round using slip stitch instead we are going to work in rounds so do a single crochet in the next stitch place the stitch marker in that single crochet next stitch single crochet next stitch single crochet so likewise you are going to do single crochet in each stitch around till you reach the stitch marker so after doing single crochet in each stitch it looks like this remove the stitch marker finish this round by doing a slip stitch do chain one and snip off this yarn now we have done the bottom part of the baby carriage now we'll see how to do the top part of it count six stitches from this side and six stitches from this side place the stitch marker that is we have placed equally on both sides 12 stitch this side 12 stitch this side so next we'll be working on the stitch markers so we are going to change the color start with a slip knot remove the stitch marker insert the hook pull through do, do chain one do one single crochet in the same stitch one single crochet in the next stitch next stitch you're going to do half double crochet yarn over insert the hook in the loop yarn over pull through the loop you'll have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through all the three loops this is what we say it is half double crochet next stitch half double crochet yarn over insert the hook in the loop yarn over pull through the loop you'll have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through all the three loops so likewise you're going to do half double crochet in each stitch till you are left with last two stitches After doing them it looks like this now we are left with last two stitches you are going to do single crochet in each stitch for two stitches remove the stitch marker and do a single crochet so after completing the round it looks like this for next round do chain one turn your work for next round you are going to work only on the front loop so if you see a chain there are two loops this is the front loop and this is the back loop so for this round you are going to work only in this front loop so you are going to do a single crochet in the front loops single crochet in the front loop and half double crochet in the front loop half double crochet in the front loops so likewise we will be doing half double crochet only in the front loops till you are left with last two stitches and in this last two stitch we'll be doing single crochet in each stitch only in the front loops so after doing them it looks like this for next round do chain one turn your work so for this round you'll be working in the back loops single crochet in the back loop 
single crochet in the back loops then half double crochet in the back loop half double crochet in the back loops so you have to do them till you are left with last two stitches and in the last two stitch you'll be doing single crochet in the back loops so you have to continue alternatively working in front loops and back loops for two more rows after doing them it looks like this for next round chain two turn your work so do a slip stitch in the same stitch chain two do a slip stitch in the next stitch taking both the loops together chain two slip stitch in next stitch both the loops together chain two slip stitch in next stitch so it looks like this you have to continue this till you reach the end chain two slip stitch in the next stitch chain two slip stitch in next stitch chain two slip stitch in next stitch after doing them it looks like this next you are going to do a slip stitch so by joining them like this so you'll continue the same thing chain two slip stitch in next stitch chain two slip stitch in next stitch so you have to continue this till you reach the other side so after doing them it looks like this next you're going to finish this round by doing a slip stitch in this first stitch stitch like this do chain one and snip off this yeah it looks like this next you are going to attach the wheels for this baby carriage after weaving the button the baby carriage keychain looks like this mini baby carriage keychain looks like this if you like this video like share comment this video and also subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe and bell button to get more videos thank you friends